Yeah.
rest in peace. All the dreams never realized. All the businesses never started. The potential never reached. Rest in peace. All the opportunities missed because you chose to go out and party instead of stay in and study. Rest in peace. The person you could have been but never reached because you refused to put in the work. Rest in peace. The life that could have been yours but wasn't because you lacked belief and cared more about the potential failure than the possibility of success. It's sad. So sad. But this is the reality for most people. Most people let their dreams die. Most people would rather live a life of misery and regret than take a risk pushing for what they really want. Most people settle in every area of their life. They settle in their relationships, they settle for an okay body, okay health. They settle for an income that's just enough to get by. They settle for a quality of life that is only just passable enough to sleep at night. Not so bad that they have to do something about it, but not even close to the life they deserve and are capable of living. This life is short. None of us are gonna make it out of here alive. You, me, everyone we love. We're all going to leave this earth one day. We've got one shot at it. One shot. For many of us, that time is flying by. Why not make the most of our one shot? Why not put in that little more effort? Why not dream just a little bigger? Why not spend a little time asking yourself what you really want in one, five, 10, 20 years time? Why not? Spend more time working on yourself and less time trying to escape from the life you don't want. Why not walk away from everything that is rotten in your life and start planting new seeds that can grow into something better in time? You deserve more, but you can only get more if you are willing to do more. More planning, more self-work, more sacrifice, more calculated risk, more dreaming, more learning, more believing, more of everything that takes you in the direction you want to travel, and less of everything that is pulling you in the opposite direction. Push for your true potential, and when you get to the end, you'll be proud. Proud of the person you became while searching and stretching for the greatest version of yourself. There's a famous story about frogs and boiling water I have to share with you. Because I think it is relevant to all of us. As the story goes, if you place a frog in a pot of boiling water, it will immediately jump out to save its life. But if you put the same frog in a pot of room temperature water and slowly heat it up, the frog will remain in the pot. Even when the water starts boiling, the frog will stay there and ultimately boil to death. Now, you may be thinking that frogs are stupid, but don't we all do that to some degree? You spend too long in a relationship, in a business, in a job, in a friendship. At the start, it was good. Then slowly over time, it started dying. You should have jumped out or made changes a long time ago. Now you're dying inside like the frog. Too often we get stuck in our comfortable lives. It becomes so comfortable and so familiar that even though we may be miserable, we stay. Because at least the misery is familiar. Taking that risk to change or grow or leave is unknown. And if there's one thing most humans can't face, it is the unknown. But let me ask you, do you want to be like that frog in the pot, slowly boiling to death? Or would you rather be like the minority? Jump out of that pot and go searching for a life that will challenge you and force you to grow into a person you can be proud of. I challenge you to be the latter. Don't wait for someone else to turn down the heat for you. There's no one else in control of the temperature of your life. 
take control of your own life and be brave enough to make those positive changes. Embrace every challenge you face and seek out new opportunities for growth and development. Progress requires discomfort. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and try something new. It will be uncomfortable at first, but that discomfort is a sign of pending progress. But if you want to be a better version of yourself, you must push yourself to grow. You must make some tough decisions and trust your gut that everything will work out in the end. So, don't be that frog. Don't be someone who stays somewhere that is killing them inside. Don't be like most people who let their dreams and aspirations die far too early. Don't live with that dirty word, regret. There is no greater pain than that of regret. Nothing can kill your soul more than the feeling of regret. Never be afraid to take a risk in life. Never be afraid to take a risk going after what you really want. You may fail. You will most likely fail often. But failure going after your dreams is nothing compared to the failure that is settling for a life that you don't want. It's never too late to try again. It's never too late to decide you want more out of life. It's never too late. It's never too late to commit to make this day, this very day, the best of your life. To create opportunities for yourself, to be positive, to rise above average thoughts. It's never too late to reinvent yourself, to learn something new, to grow, to feel good again. No matter what has happened or failed to happen in your past, it is never too late. But only if you are committed. Only if you want to change. Do you want to change? Do you want more out of life? You wouldn't be the first person on earth to turn everything around. It is not impossible. All it takes is your commitment, your courage, and your desire to be better. Most people don't change because they lack courage because they fear the unknown. They fear failure. You are different. You have the courage, the courage to try. Don't fear failure. Fear being in the exact same place next year as you are today. It's time. Today is the day, the first day of the rest of your life. Make that commitment. Never give up. Can you hear me? I don't care if you're living in your car. I don't care if you're sleeping on the side of a gas station. Never give up. You gotta keep fighting. It's a destination that you have in your soul. It's where you wanna make it. So your tears will become the ocean that leads to your paradise. The toughest battles come to the toughest warriors. You gotta see it like it's already in your hand. You gotta walk like you're already a star. If you have nothing in your pocket, but you can never give up, you can never stop fighting for that top spot. Say you gotta become rich on the inside before you become rich on the outside. That pride, that purpose, that gift, never give up. Your body, your leg.